one base of here. Welcome. Have a look at the Jada. She had a bone. She, she's all attuned to the noises. Hello, everyone. Base of here. Welcome. Back to some more East Attorney. Sorry. Literally just shoved some waffles into my throat. Into my gullets. Because I had to work late again to uh, diagnosing problems again. Is my mic delayed again? Because uh, you kind of no. there. It was. Why does this keep changing my settings? Stop it. Get some help. All right. Hopefully it's fixed again. I don't know why that keeps changing my settings, but it seems to be doing so. I'm excited to continue playing Phoenix Wright. This game was ridiculously way, way more fun than I thought it would ever be uh, when we played yesterday. Um, so, oh, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're great. We're dandy. We're doing great. Uh, hopefully things are okay. Um, not everything is loading for stream for some reason. Um, like... My alerts and stuff for some reason are uh, jacked up. So I re-authenticated, re-linked my accounts. I don't know if it's just something on their end, but <sighs> it is what it is. Uh, this one. Yes. Okay. So we just started a new chapter, right? Is that? Yeah, I guess that my heart rate is pretty high. Uh, okay. So yes. You. Oh, God. Start with her. It's great. Uh, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Ah! Yep. You scare me. You you do. Not this stinking noise. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May? No, not really. That's me. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. That's right. I gotta... <laughs> It's not the, the the text box doesn't move depending on who's talking, so you have to read who's talking. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Was this Final Fantasy VII? All right, I have this thing too. Here we go again. Please, please you're scaring the security guard. He hasn't even responded, reacted. I, I'm pretty sure he's fine. God, she's creepy. She, she can just flip between modes like that. Don't like it. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Mm -hmm. I can move. Okay, let's talk to her uh, about the wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when, you, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Yeah, tapping people's phone is a crime, Miss May. Oh, I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, huh? Kind of. Creep! How does that make me a creep? This woman is impossible to talk to. Uh, your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Ah! Okay. That does it, you gotta be some scum sucking lawyer. Bottom. She called me a bottom. Can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Right. Tell me about that guy. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Ooh. What would she, she want? She wants to. Want to. You want a present? <laughs> it's not a present. Present. This is probably smart to get a... Are you acquainted with this? I already showed her this, right? Look, I'm a lawyer. Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts. Don't get lost because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Okay. Uh... Can I examine the guard? Is he actually uncomfortable? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. Okay. 
Or maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. Ah. Okay, so that one did change. Smile for the camera. Same thing. I guess we move. His painting's gone. Was I supposed to know that? I kind of want to go here first. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel. <clears throat> ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance here today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. Oh, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as a hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Creepy, dude. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, I too, will become famous. Bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. This guy's a bit creepy. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are an honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Yes, why not ice, ice coffee? Uh, Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her? Uh, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Yeah. Man with May. Or, with Miss May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Oh, yeah. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. I knew it was from the moment I saw him, sir. You know, of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. Are you telling me that you were probably involved? Because you're, you're definitely sus. Here we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm... Okay, so we gotta go find a photo. Oh, <gasps> is that why the painting's gone? Is it that dude? Hotel. Can you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. Oops, absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Certainly, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. You are creepy. text was colored, does that mean I can interact with it? Well, what do you think? I think you're creepy. Uh, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Look, I'm a lawyer. I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't care about that. Uh, get out of here. Bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. If you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. He's a little obsessive. He'll be famous. The talk of the hotel industry. Okay. Uh, sussy. Crap, uh, rain fartage. There we go. Uh, nice weathering in today. I can see the Fay and Co. law offices, of course. Ah, uh, yes, we plan to install a telescope from that window, of course. That's illegal! This five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view to, of, a view to kill. A view of a kill, whatever. Just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> by that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Yeah. Simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Uh, a still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of these hanging on the wall. A vase, as expected. I'm not good with flower names. That maybe tulips and sunflowers. I read that. That's still there, huh? See? Huh? There's still screwdrivers. Screwdrivers stuck in that drawer. 
Ah, please that leave that leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's said to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious, I don't believe it. Yeah, he's uh he he definitely do be creepy. Okay, let's go to that uh this place. Should I, I, maybe I should be paying attention to the dates. Huh, looks like Crossword is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Okay, um, oh! He's got a picture. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah! It was a painting of... Fisherman, right? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Gonna be expensive plant, expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Oops. Table for clients. Hmm, an elegant and bunny case, if they're not mistaken. The letters make us all go. Maybe I don't have to read them if you've already read them. Uh huh. Oops. Wasn't the desk a thing too? Yeah. All right, this is new. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. Yale 6 Incident Exhibit A. Yale 6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Okay, I don't recognize you. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. Am I supposed to know who that is? And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. These are mine. On the back, the words, okay, I've written in pencil. Photography, photograph quietly added to the court record. Ah, it's you! Oh man, he's creepy. The photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Yes. I think I'll swap. What if I brought that other photo? To May. I kind of want to do that. Hold on. No, no. This. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Because I technically, didn't, well, I wouldn't know it's him, but I would know it's a man. This is going to be funny. So we're going to do this way. No. Uh. There we go. Move. To here. You again? Can't you take a hidden stake on? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, so you have a spiky heart. That does it when this case is over. My case is done, I'm shaving my head. Don't shave your head, Phoenix. You got iconic hair look. Present you with this goofy photo. Any thoughts about this photograph? What's that? Your mother? Looks like I've just been wasting my time. Ah, that was it? Okay. <laughs> I couldn't have taken both? No, I went to the wrong place. Later, creep. Uh-huh. God, he's creepy looking. Uh, move. Hey, tell me about this. Purple haired man. Have a look at this. Look, I said several times. I'm not telling you. Ooh. God, she's terrifying, dude. Ha! <laughs> ah, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. How would I put that together? From that guy's office. That's weird. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have proof that was him? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Shit. Uh.
gotta be something here. It's gonna be like some purple hair on the ground or something, huh? Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around though. If they miss something, then they're terrible. His favorite potted plant. I don't guess off the water now. Aw. Sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. An old movie poster. Apparently this was the first movie that made me a cry. I'll check it out one of these days. He has desk. Perfectly clean as always. Oh, maybe it'll be in the hotel room. The only thing it's missing is Mia. These are the books she read. Oh, some of the files missing. Shit. Now I'm imagining things. Wait, am I imagining things? Oops. Okay. Go back to the, the hotel. Do you want to see this picture? Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit, affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? Or, I, I can't say that word. Affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Have him write it. And we'll go give it to May. Well, sure, why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, too. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the uh, affidavit. Let's hurry up and write it. Bellboy's affidavit. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I want to read that. Describes a man who stayed with Miss May in the hotel on the night of the murder. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. All right, cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Play an errand boy here. Uh, present. This. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with. It was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears, push her hard. Reach over the desk, shove her over. She doesn't look scared. Okay, okay, she's vulnerable now. I should be gentle. Miss May, it would be easy for me to hand this affidavit to the police. If they get involved, wouldn't your boss be even more, uh, inconvenienced? Who's your boss? All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Is her boss the, uh, the lawyer? Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Somehow I think you're not up to it, huh? Show them a little kindness and they jump all over you. Yeah, the opposite effect of what I hoped. Aw, smart, poor little lawyer. And you're so close. This isn't working. I think I've worn out this piece of paper's usefulness. Fuck, did I fuck up? Damn it. No, aw. man in this photo is the one I want. Why did April May... I just put her name together, April May. Why did April May not want to talk... Oh wait, why did April May not want to talk about it? She must know him. Fuck. Uh... I can't present that cop the thing, right? This is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? Ahem! Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. I forgot his the voice I gave him. Hi, you again. Um, hello, Mrs. Grosberg. Well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial! He was there? 
And I didn't notice? It reminded me of myself when, when I was when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through Mia. Maybe? Huh? It brings back memories, it does. Ah, uh, the days of my youth like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today. Well, well I... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. Okay, well, Did you sell the thing? Uh... Today's trial. So he came to see the trial. Yes, yes I did! Something was bothering me all... Bothering me all last night, you see? I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, how you really my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for that girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer her to defend her? Yeah. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have the right to know. All right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. Why? He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. Painting's gone. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on that wall. <laughs> Pretentious-looking? Well, you know what I mean. Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Oh, yes, well, I got rid of it. I'm quite tired of the thing, really. I, uh, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't. I... Hey! Um... Okay, this picture. Sir. Excuse me, I was wondering if you... Look at this photograph. Where did you get that? I borrowed it. Well, give it back at once! Mr. Rosberg, tell me about the man in this photo. He may have been in the hotel room with April May on the night of the murder. Do you know something about him? Anything? <clears throat> Very well, I'll tell you what I know. However... You didn't hear it from me if you follow. I follow. That man is Mr. Red White. <laughs> He's the president of Blue Corp. Red White. Red White, huh? Blue Corp. There's something like a detective agency, right? Oh, that's me. There's something like a detective agency, right? They're in for information pros. They sell information, you see. Sensitive information. Despite his name, Mr. White has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. Should you run across him, watch what you say. You don't want him digging up any dirt on you. Hmm. Selling information sounds like blackmail. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm. I suppose. Mr. Red White, at last, finally, a lead on this guy. Even if April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Time to take action. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, keep talking to him. Hey! Oh, I gave it back to him. I must ask you to leave. I need to think about things. Alone. I'm a lawyer. I beg your pardon, but I am not the liberty to speak on the matter. Okay. Got nothing else. Uh. I feel like there was something else I could have talked to him about, but I don't remember it. And it didn't give me the option. There's a painting. What's with the surreal decor? Yeah, it's creepy, isn't it? Welcome! Please furnish me with your title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. What the? Incur... Inquirably? Like, inquire? Is that what that word is? Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Dude, I'm Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, it is. Right! I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gigantesque vocabulary. 
No, you're awkward. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official? My business... Corporate expansion... Is that what CEO stands for? I thought it was Chief Executive Officer. My business dealings... Or, my business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the world... Worldly challenge. That's not a word. What a fruitcake. Hmm. Let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to me, meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Guys, this guy's arrogance meters off the scale. Uh, I'm gonna ask about Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp? Anyway. Haha, uh -huh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information. So this fucking ad revenue in Google. In just 10 years, I've built this business up from the ground into the ground office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Oh my god, red, white, and blue. I, red, white, of blue corp, and founder of, and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? You hurt my head. Uh, ask about Miss May. Miss May is an employee of blue corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What? That's not, that's not the right word. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done. You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. Okay, butt chin. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Mm-hmm. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to the mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. You, as CEO, you care about dates. And times and meetings and stuff. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. <clears throat> no matter, the bellboy can say what he please, pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be able to, you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. It raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? You should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, the police, the court. To me, they are mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Amusement. A painting. Oh, it made me do all the options first. Ah, uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? A big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. Where'd you get? I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? It's yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? What are you covering? Oh, maybe he is covering something. Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you not fully understand... Fully grasp your position here. I ask again. Who are you? Uh, huh. A lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse of an attorney. Grody Burger. <laughs> what? Did he just punch me? <clears throat> He did. He, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. Or it is you who will be found guilty. What? Need my exposition. The police. The courts. They all do my bidding. So he's very arrogant about that fact. So you say. I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Comprehension? 
came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grosberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that his painting is of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now. Skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. Fuck you, I'm observing your shit. This painting was until yesterday hanging in the Mr. Grosberg's office. Why does White have it now? It's not hard to imagine a few possibilities. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges Special Runner-Up. Best Participation. Judges Cooperation Award. Special Good Try Prize. <laughs> hmm. Words judges and special kind of stand out. He probably strong-armed them into giving him something. Statue of a man holding up the world. The blue Corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Oh god, that's creepy. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My my, this is quite the thing. This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite residential. Okay, there's nothing here. Um, I'm a lawyer! Would you be kind enough to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. Fuck you. Oh shit. The thing went away. I kind of want to go tell May that he ratted her out. Fuck. Apparently Miss May's in questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. Never mind. Let's go talk to Grody Burger. That's not where I meant to go. Hmm, the bellboy seems to be out. Huh? The sound of water coming from the shower. The fucking bellboy? la dee da money-making, money-making. I got the money-making blues. Someone seems to be enjoy washing the showers. Okay. That's where I meant to go. Oh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat. <clears throat> Jump in your host of fans. Oh, you. What's wrong? Oh, wait, what's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Mm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Uh, these are unchecked. Does it persist, the things that you've done, or does it refresh because things have changed? Today's trial. So you came to the trial. Yes, I did. Something was bothering Yeah. Okay, it's the same thing. All right, Mr. White. So I played Blue, Blue Corp a visit. Oh, oh, I see. Mr. Grosberg. I have to admit something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Why wouldn't you defend my... That big painting. Mr. Grosberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right... right? there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grosberg, I knew you and Mr. White are connected. I know you, Mr. White, are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes. And I know what it is. He's blackmailing you. You're lovers. It's not something I claim to understand. But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? What? My boy. You sent that painting to him. As a sign. A sign of undying love. My boy, please. You're letting your fancies run away with you. Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I don't understand how you could. <laughs> That's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. I knew it. They are lovers. <laughs> no, we are not lovers. 
That's funny. He heard, he heard my inner brain monologue. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. Bunny! Welcome to the stream, Data Cookie. Data Cookie. Wake up! Cookie! I'm cooking for you! Here you go! She just had a big bone. I think I'm for the cookie. She went with me to work today because she had a doctor appointment. How you doing, Lonnie? 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name of the back of the photographs. As you suspected. Oh, as you su suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. But you see, he's nothing more than the weight of many years. Uh-huh. What about the DL6 incident? Doing homework? I appreciate you! That's Roz impersonation? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Always oh, watching. Got you. I got you. See? That's the kind of reference I understand. Uh, what is the DL6 incident? DL6 is... Oh, DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. Medium? I'm looking for a rare. Her name was Misty Fay. <sighs> Fay! Indeed, she was Mia's mother. They had been investiga investigating a murder on the be bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did, like, I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. The murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Okay, what about reason for blackmail? Well, why are you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grosberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You sold white? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold him out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of the country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at my Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Ah, oh, that's why he killed her. I asked before, but why did you refuse to request for defense? Her request for defense. I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. White? No. No, I'm sorry. I just need more time to think about it. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Okay. Yeah, that was the same thing. Present you with... Nothing. Actually, I lied. I'm a lawyer! Damn it. All right, move the law offices. It's funny looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine murder took place here. Mr. Grosberger said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. I was just here. Oh, wait. Yes, it's going to be this, yeah. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed, filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? A to I. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. Nice. A, B, F. Misty Fay. That's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Can I take a look? Absolutely. 
I've tarnished the Fey name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for witches. And the other was the man who sold that information to the press. How would dead people know the answer if they didn't know the answer in life? This parasite who works his fortune on threats and coercion, his name is. Hmm. The record stops there. Oh, that's me. The record stops there. So me and you, Grosberg. J to S. Let's see J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skim! Uh, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here, the end. An S. Suicide. Ew. There's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White. This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Uh-huh. White drove them all, too. I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find a more disturbing one. Oh, snap. Article about politician suicide. The word white is written in pencil at the top. Okay. Check him. E to Z. E, U, I know, W, white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Probably. Okay. Go back to Grosberg. Found this in Mia's file. Oh, she was investigating Red White as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in the court. Not a bad idea. Okay, that's all you had to say, huh? Got anything? Nope. Uh. I don't know if I want to go there. Shit. I'm gonna have to go here. Well, hey, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. It's a lawyer. I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my potions further, I have, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Is that a threat? Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Uh... Blackmail. There's no point in asking someone who's crooked a great question. I need some evidence I can use as a memo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why, yes. There's my eyes, my nose, and my mouth. But of course, I just... You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think less of you. Weirdo. I think we're past needing to talk about April May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm, what's the matter? You seem... Distressed. Night of the murder. This guy is a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that! The hot cases give me goosebumps. Okay. Uh, I'm a lawyer! <laughs> I have no intention of parlaying with you about this matter. Okay. But what about... Take that! This is the only clue that Mia left behind. Or left me. We better make this one count. Mr. White. Or Mr. White. See this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled a single word. White. Shit, I'm just, I'm literally putting cross hairs on my, my brain meats with this guy. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. Fine on him. You bribed him. You blackmailed him. You're blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. 
You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What is it you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Who's peeping? Secretary's office. Hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Oh, he did that. Yes, sir. I'll send, I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right. I don't... What's he right or wrong about? You're wrong. Oh, investigating Mia's thing. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about the mis you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it! Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wa Wrong. He said, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. Well, me, please. And try to sue me, or get information or something. White! Oh, wait. We got a sound effect for this. Uh, boop, beep. Right! That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The MFA case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. That's gotta look suspicious. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Why, dude? What? I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. Oh, shit, he's going to hit me again. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. What cool names. The killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those... Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? Oh, he has him under his thumb, too. I'm telling you to send the police now! Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wong? Wong, wrong! You are a Mia lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I defend myself. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. They'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look comp competent. I... I... I feel faint. I didn't drink anything. What the fuck happened? Oh. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts. Harry butts. Right, actually. Phoenix right. my friend's name is Larry. Why was I feeling faint? Just because that sounded... Like, scary? Worrisome? Ah, right! Sorry, pal! But was that murderer, right? No. Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human o being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Oh, I'm going to be so happy to put you behind bars. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. It's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in, in on it, of course. It's worth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I can represent myself! I refuse. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Right! Oh, Maya! Right! They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ah. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. Now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, 
please tell me, is there anything I can do? Yeah, go murder him. Um, well, defend me in court. Help me break out of here. Cheer me on in court. No. Oh, wait. Well, you could cheer me on in court. Cheer for you? I mean, like a cheerleader? Uh, uh, yeah, like that. All right, leave it to me. <laughs> huh? Better be... We'll get a uniform and some pop-ups. Oh my god. Okay. She's precious. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. Thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. What? I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. Yeah, I believe in you. You'll get him. You'll get him. Times may change yet come or yet with crime. It's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial tri court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most of the guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. Fuck you! The true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. Oh. Do we continue? Oops. I'm hungry. I ate two waffles right literally as stream was starting. Number nine. Okay. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah! Phoenix, it! Look! Hey, sir! That man. Prosecutor. Edgeworth. Wernstrom. I received a call from the chief, from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. Oh shit. Hey! That's gotta be fucking... You, you gotta know, that's shady. No matter how you try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have? What does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. That's uncool, dude. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Changed. Oh, Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. Corrupt motherfucker. Oh, it. Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. Okay, let's do this. I hope you brought your pom poms. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edward. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today you will hear the testimony of a witness on the, to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? Yeah. It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about it, this, I suppose it's me. Absolutely! Objection! I get to do it this time. Mr. Edgeworth, you want an explanation to the court? 
Why into this witness testifying in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a is a busy man, and besides, at the time I thought that Miss Maya's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edwards. I appreciate your demeanor. Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Oh God, you're uh, you're such an eyesore. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Good Lord. Uh, no name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse. Name. These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. White kid? Isn't that white kid? I am the CEO of, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. <clears throat> Why, well, tell you what you already know. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Oh. <laughs> Come at me, bitch. That's what he's looking like. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Why are you down here? Are you loud down here? I appreciate the cheerleader support. Fuck you, sir. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly per per usifying. Uh, that's reading to you. Some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprise! I turned to look at the building across the way. It was when I saw him. A spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. That immediately contradicts May's testimony. Too many M names. Needless to say, the man was none other than you, Mr. Loyal. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. Oh, you just fucking implicated yourself there. Because she saw long-haired girl. The victim, she... She ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction, and it was all over. <coughs> hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. What the fuck? Very well, defendant. Uh, I mean, Mr. Wright. The cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Let's rip him a new one. Uh-huh. 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 Boom. Spiky. <laughs> Spiky haired. Fuck! That wasn't it. Present. I, how do I, how do I present information from, uh, our other testimony? A bedlam? What's a bedlam? A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. What?
the uh bellboy didn't see him at nine how do you know what time it was because i am always absolutely perfect you know no 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 you're not getting away with that you are so mistrusting mr lawyer so what was the proper term from for secretary again <clears throat> Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm. That's what Miss May said, too. That's further. True. The bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he didn't see you. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. <clears throat> this is your concern? Silly lawyer. Miss May received the coffee outside the room. He said he walked in. Wait. Right? Of course he could not see me. We need x-ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at that time? I was... Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna press him on that. By window, you mean the one directly across from Faye and Co. Law offices? Then he would have saw him, right? Correct. That is the only window you see. And there you were reading. Papers. Correct! The Gatewater is a business man's a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who had a business to do. Fuck. How'd you know if it came across the way? So you're reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I am a no snoop peeping out of the windows at night. No snoop. Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. I was just thinking that. It was then I saw him. Uh, you did that. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly says that the assailant. Ah! That's the one. That's what I was trying to get originally. Look like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes? 40! 40, don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, who signed it is the judge on anyway? And what did you do then? Called Miss Over May Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. Why didn't you call the police? What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watch or she had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. No, she would have been with the bellboy. Did you know she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Objection. Stop it! Edgeworth! Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. It does. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. This maid was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Balls. Victim. She she ran away, but you gave chase. I'm gonna call him all all this. Can you be a little more detail detail about that? I think it's worth knowing what it, exactly what happened. Yeah, because he didn't say direction. Of course, comprende, comprende. I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. Aha! You gave chase and struck her down. Aha, see even he knows. Are you sure? As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Aha! Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? Let me spark a little more for you. I am absolutely perfect. End of story. How many times must I hear that? Doesn't sound some something sound something about the strike. He was a little odd. Uh huh. Finally, there was a terrible infection, then it was all over. But I present to you a liar's bitch ass account. Uh, the Merle's thing. Yes, check. Can I do this? this work 
Or do I need to do the other one? Present! Your Honor! A statement contradicts this evidence. It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Fuck! Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Fuck! I'm burning! I'm burning again! Parallax! Yo! What's up, dude? We haven't seen you in forever, forever! How you been? Who in the Oompa Loompa Steven Universe looking ass is that? Dude, I told you! He is an absolute eyesore. That's the murderer. Whoops, that didn't go so well. Uh, percent. The witness statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Fuck! Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you, Mr. Wright. Fuck. Uh, I must be on the wrong track. I'm on the right track! He said right! Or left. Yep, yeah, he says the same thing. His name is Chad, Brad, or Thad. It's even better, Lonnie. It's Mr. Red White of Blue Corp. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Um, impaction? Do you mean just impact? Ridiculo- Oh god. Ridiculosity. I think you need to brush up on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I'd better leave the whole language thing about alone. Did Edgeworth prep this guy? Do I wonder? Anyway, I'd better find weakness in there. Fuck! No, 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 no! Okay, so it has to be something I, I can present. The eagles are screaming. <laughs> Bedlam. I don't know what that is. That right there. What do I? What do I do? What do I do? I tried this. Wait a minute. I tried the map on accident. I'm an idiot. That's what I meant to try from the beginning. Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that deck directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. Dun -dun 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 -dun. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, it is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. Blam! That's... See, why couldn't I have done that? The killer was here. And the victim here. You have Yo! Returned. Parallax! Holy crap, my dude! Thank you so much for the sub! I appreciate the heck out of you. Damn, well, cookie! Go get a big cookie. Go get a big cookie! Big cookie for the sub. Cookie for you! Get it! Get it! Um. Thank you for the cookie! Look at that face. She's very excited. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. I appreciate you. Have you been playing any games lately? Uh... The victim here. The victim ran to the left as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. And into glass. Didn't you find that odd? Look at that face! Oh, I'm gonna cherish that face, bro. Well, the lamb recently? Nice! Did you just start playing it? Or are you just playing the, the new content? We just got done playing that, actually, last week. Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I, I did. Thanks, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Miss, M Miss May says right and Mr. White says left. 
Can you explain this contradiction to the court? They're lying. <gasps> They're both right. Because she was looking in from the windows, that's running right. But if he was facing this way, that's his left. Both witnesses are telling truth. For once. I am Edgeworth. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Yeah, that's right. He was there. He was doing the murder. Been playing a couple months, but loving the new content. Yeah, dude. The, the Nike update, that was great. I very much enjoyed that. We might have to go visit again, though, because uh, I, I already unlocked everything. That was pretty quick to do, but I need to kill all the bosses again, again. Maybe try to get some more achievements. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the room. In the law office of Fane Cole. Of course. Oh, I'm, I'm accusing you of murder, bitch! More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. Hell yeah, he was the killer man. Take that! This is where he was. He was the killer. Look. When the victim ran for the door. He was watching from this point. To him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. No shit, Sherlock! Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the court? Order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Oh yeah, you better be sweating bullets. Uh, Rapscallion. Shh. Postulations of the defense are a distortion to the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. If he's got dirt on you, this and this is the perfect time to catch him in murder. Fucking go in full blast and send him into prison. <laughs> you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. Of course it did. It appears I've been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Ah, fuck up! Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck, you can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. What's up, Kira? work on a short break from work i appreciate you popping in to say hey how's work going he ran to the left this maze testimony was correct as was mine when you assaulted or when you assaulted the girl she first ran to the left and then you hit her savagely that is what i saw next with the last of her strength she ran to the right you chased her and delivered the final blow lies what is it? That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. <gasps> she was hit once. Ah, ha, ha, bitch. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? I'm going to show you something. Mm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? Absolutely. You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Get ready to eat shit flakes because it's coming your way. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. And deliver the final blow. You see, you hit her twice. Aha! Hold it. Hold it, bitch! So you're watching both times? I suppose I was. And please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? I think we've got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll we'll soon wipe this. Oh, wait. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smile off his face. That's right. Uh-uh. Objection! Shit. 
Uh-oh. The victim dodged an attack and ran to the right, but was caught and struck. Is it not this? I thought I had a thing that she was hit once. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. That's right. His butt plug's falling out. That's what that face is. Is this still the first trial of the case? Uh, I don't know. But we're trying Mr. Right, Mr. White. What do you have to say to that? Uh, that's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were abso positively perfect? Oh, using your own words against you. Mm. I will refrain from using that this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Of course you would. Yes, yes, quite. No, oh, objection. Nah. -uh. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that you. There be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! Yeah, dude, they're all turning on him. Let's go! Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of the. This now, White. Mr. White. Uh, okay. This is trial. It's trial two. I figured out where we are. Speaking of, our 10 minute plague is over. Have a good one, dude. I appreciate you popping in. Means a lot. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard the thing fall. Then, uh, the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Uh huh. Hmm. Thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin to cross this examination. Mr. Your Honor. My stomach, you see, it's hurting. Mmm. Deal with it, yeah. This is almost over. Uh. Mm -hmm. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. What thing fall? The glass? I think it's the glass. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? <gasps> he just got himself caught again because that means she would have ran right first. Huh? Oh, oh that. Mm, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix. Was there something about that strike he was odd? Yep. Yeah, that is odd. Press further. Mr. White. Huh? What? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? E yes. And change your testimony to reflect that. D sorry. M my bad. The witness will revise the testimony. Oh my god. Revise of revise. Okay. Uh, of course. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. And the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. She turned and ran to the door. And you did her in with a good blow. What? Phoenix, he's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll... All right, he's probably afraid I'll catch him on something. But it won't be easy. We got him. The light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. That's wrong. The glass stand was lying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? W why, me? W well, I was instructed not to- Wait! One moment! Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I'm so confused. White's falling apart. Objection. Shut up, you! Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. M Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. 
Very well. The witness may continue his account. Then the next moment, or then the next moment I saw Mia, or I, then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. She turned around to the door. And you did another finger blow. Oh shit. Whap. That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Uh, yes, well, I, I'm a man of peace, you see. Phoenix, it's getting a lot less talkative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's not the one I wanted to do. Miss Mia. Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, 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 triple no. How would I? How could I? Ah! I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright, I will not have you hiring the witness. You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. The killer you've attacked. Um. But she dodged. I can just do all these? And before you said that she was hit before that she ran. Yes, I must have been confused. But, I, but don't worry, we all know what happened now. She turned around for the door. No, she didn't. I'm calling you on all your points. What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. Wait. Oh, he just admitted. No, uh, no not me. The, the killer, I mean. He gave chase. You. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. Mr. White, here is, here is only trying. Oh, wow. Mr. Wright here is only trying to fluster you with ba baseless accusations. Oh, all right. Thank you, Miles. Oh, on first name basis, are you? I need to save. I don't know the order that this is going to want me to do, but essentially, if we look at if she ran to his left first, how did that thing get broken? Right? Usually when the sound goes out, that means it's the right one. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the, nut the light stand. Stand broke into pieces when it fell. Uh. <laughs> Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. Yo! That was not what I was going for, but it worked. So tell me, exactly when was it you saw the stand? Answer the question! Uh, isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. So, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then. G correct that would be no problemo right hmm big problemo there's a big problemo uh i mean problem here what problem is this mr white let me make sure i have this straight you saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred correct ah now i can use the map Correct. That is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand behind the the glass or the window. Why, why couldn't he? You have proof? Sure, fucking do. Sure do. Wow, I just said that, Your Honor. The person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over because of. Take that! Yeah, I was right. Look at this. You see the floor plans of the scene of the murder, yes? You didn't check out that picture very well, did ya? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Blam, bitch! Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the view, the visible area. Well, Mr. Wright? What do you have to say to that? Ah! Ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claimed, 
You could have not seen the sand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? Was it when you were murdering her? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fey Law offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murderer took place. Ah, oh, that's right. Oh, it feels so good. No, don't stop it. I'm reveling in this. Mr. White? Right. Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I. I. Miss Mia. Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Now he's got something else, huh? Fuck you, Edgeworth! That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What, you, you intimidated? You wanna go? Wanna go a couple rounds? You wanna face battle in the rain? Some kisses? What? Uh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crimes now? Yo! Look at him go fucking go! He's for fucking... Yeah, okay. Thank you. Oh, he's for justice. Should you confess your crime now? Hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo. Confess that you placed the wiretap. Ah! I gave him credit too soon. I thought I was gonna like him. What wiretap? Fucking ass! I hate you, Edward. Murder, murder! Mr. Edward, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, oh. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. You can't explain his testimony. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss Abel May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered the Miss Bay's office. Am I correct? Fuck! Oh, Edgeworth, you scummy, slimy bastard. Correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the fag and cold lofts. Why would you do grunt work? This is what I saw that accursed light then. Fuck. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edwards. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. All right, but she still ran the wrong way. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. The very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. White would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. Oh my god, Mr. Wright and Mr. White. You see, however, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to the office well before the murder took place. When he went to the place, the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Back. But he said he was never been to the office. Didn't he? Mr. Wright, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. <clears throat> Leave it to me. I, I feel faint. Oh god, we have to hear him again. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I'd entered the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course, I had done so, done so to place the wiretap. This is when I saw this glass light stand. Six. Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the light of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. <gasps> By the sound? Correct. That is right. I see you very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Ah, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Thanks, Maya. Fuck. Uh. 
It was the beginning of September the week though. That has to be significant, right? I'd entered the Fay and Co. law offices. Of course I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh, really? Oh, well, maybe it was rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Okay. Present. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> September fifth. week before the murder the murder happened on September 5th so that couldn't have happened this evidence clearly evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in that statement your honor fuck this is I'm gonna get hit how exactly are this evidence in the statement just now related they aren't are they not at all he's right please think of it ah I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Uh, it was in September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. law offices. It said there was nothing to press him on, but... Do you have proof? Objection. Fuck. It's April May knew the details of Miss Fay's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Uh, right. Was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? Oh god, he's just gonna object to everything. An identified fitting prints surround several days old were found in the Fay and Co. law offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fay and Co. law offices. He already did. Uh, why did you tap me as phone? Oh my god. This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? Yeah, that's weird. The light stand was made entirely- Oh, the light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish. So I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there to press him on! Well, maybe he's rattled enough to get bluffing and blubbity buff fuck! evidence clearly reveals the contradiction of the statement, Your Honor.
What if there's papers? <gasps> what if... No, he stole the papers. I don't know. Oh. Uh oh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, actually, that's a thing. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. I know that voice. M Mia! What? It's gonna be Maya, right? Uh, what was her voice? Never give up, Phoenix. Mia. Mia. Did I just pass out? What just happened? Where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Was that... Could I have just killed myself on accident by guessing randomly? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. What the fuck? Did I hallucinate all of that? Oh, you're finally awake. Ah! What? What just happened? Hey. Wait, that's Mia. That's Mia. Hey, Phoenix. Heck, that's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Is this Maya channeling Mia? Ah! How come you're as tall as your sister all of a sudden? I'm so very, 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 very confused. You're... Maya? Whoa. Didn't you know the Fate women have strong psychic powers? They accepted your defeat in court. It appears that was enough to, of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. Oh, shit. What? So... Oh. Maya's channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya. I am also Mia. Oh, God. Is that how you grew, like, a foot? Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. I never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. I have to stay with her voice, because it's her voice, right? But... You don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? The one with the name? I thought receipt, but it didn't say it had a date on it or anything. That one. Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix! Wright wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? See? Oh, I was even right. It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, a big spender. Item: glass light stand. Oh! Why couldn't I look at that before? Date of purchase: September fourth. Ha 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 ha. See, I even thought about presenting that because it was a receipt, but it didn't have a date on it. So I was like, nah. September four. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that light stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now. 
did Mr. White say in his testimony? We reached the beginning of the TBM the week before the murder. Bitch! Let me look at the other side. Oh, look, we can read these now. Stayed with someone else at the hotel on the night of the murder. Tapped me his phone. The little room service to Miss May at the time the murder also checked her in. An eyewitness CEO of their information gathering company. Blue Corp. Blam! Oh. Why did he give me the option to do a present there, or uh, an evidence thing there? He said he saw the week, plan the week before the murder. So here you go. I think the court is about to re reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Ah, so much easier. Receipt updated in the court record. Maybe I couldn't have done it. Or maybe that was the bluff. Maybe you could have bluffed that. It did ask me to bluff. Mm, I, I wouldn't have known it was a, the purchase. The... Whatever. The lamp, though. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. He's a defendant. Rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Never better. Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Stop you. That's that's him getting reception from his robot overlords. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. Wright White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Venus Wright. Hmm. Objection! Your Honor! Please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Well, that's nice of you. Maybe he is just playing the part. Because there's no reason for him to do that. <clears throat> Although he could just be a cocky bastard. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, the wiretapping! Okay, what do we got? It was not, you lying sons of bitch! Closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side. Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. Although they, couldn't they say it could have been any glass light stand? Not that one. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly enter Fane Co. Law Offices at the beginning of September, the light, the stand could not have been there. Ah! Oh, we get to see it again. Oh, fall apart. Fall apart, scumbag. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No. It's impossible. achievable. Oh my God. Uh-oh. He's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be a quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Objection! Fuck. God damn it, Edgeworth! Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Why you gotta use my full name? Eh? What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait. Forgot. It's Edgeworth. Balls! A certain thread of logic in the defense's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. There I go. I would like to request one more, more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Shit. No, you're trying to get him off now. Hmm. Another inquiry. 
This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong the trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edwards. If anyone's going to... Uh. If it was going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, oh, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edwards is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Oh, fuck you, sir! Mr. Ioana, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Ah. Oh, get him! Get him! The witness will stay. Her, the wit her, it says it in her voice. She's way taller. She grew at least a whole head. The witness will stay. M Mia! Mia! Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, yeah, what's this? What note? Where'd you get that? Memo received from me. Was that was in the... Maybe that was in the statue? A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persis persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is lying. My life is riding on this one. I have something. Oh, I have something I would like to read to the court. Nah, 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 nah. Take that. Memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! This is halt! Please stop! Make it stop! Oh, how did you get that list? Why would you... Uh, like, say that out loud? Mr. White, admit your guilt. Right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. That's called... Intimidating the witness. Or threatening the witness, right? You can't do that. I... I confess, I confess! I... I did it, I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with... The thinker. He's closed, Your Honor. The fuck? That was a wild turn. That came out of nowhere. That was some Deus Ex Machina shit. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. I'll throw his bitch ass in prison so he doesn't have blackmail on me. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. <clears throat> Are the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright, not guilty. Hell yeah. Confetti time. That is all. This court is adjourned. So is that guy going to go to prison now? Has he admitted it? Well, I never thought I'd say anything. I'd be saying this again. Congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fake. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me. And Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time is running out. Huh? His powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say. We never got our drink together. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief! <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say nine o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. This is strange. Chief! Mia! I'm very confused.
being here, it's hard not to think about that night. Who came? Mia. I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? Ahaha, ah, you should see your face. Mia! See, she shrinks! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya! M Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? <laughs> um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Or take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. Oh, office is right... Oh! They're renaming it. No better but me. IFA, reporting for duty. Wait. No, on second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business. She's got... Yeah, all right. She's adorable. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. You said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners. Oh, what the fuck? Why is why is that message showing up again? We're not. There's uh, no collab stream going on at all. Uh. Where is it? Is it this one? It must be this one. Uh, unable that one. All right, that one. That one has to be it. My bad. Hold on. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in co-law offices. Got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Adorable. See? She's way taller. Good luck, Phoenix. Yeah, I know that wasn't her voice, but actually we could have done that. We'll do addresses. Good luck. Good luck, Phoenix. Wait, no, it's this different voice in this. Good luck, Phoenix. Always be watching. Okay, Roz. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint down the street! Come on, time's a wasting! Okay, wait up. And wait! Is that the end of the game, or that... No, because this is to be continued. Brand new episode has been added. Okay. So that might have been the end of that? Is this the next part? Because that one said the end. The other one said to be, to be continued. Ah, uh, you've disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. I'm not skipping any of this. It's doing it itself. Moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. Or it will be the last moon you will ever see. This is an anime we're watching? Steve in hell, evil magistrate. The movie we're watching. Is this that movie that she watched and made her cry? Warrior swore gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen. A two. Only the moon knows. <laughs> Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns. We're watching a show. October 14th. That rock! <laughs> See you in hell, evil magistrate! Oh, stop waving that broom around. <laughs> okay, she, I, I love her. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. What was that surreal? What was that surreal show you were watching? What? I mean, you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. 
young. Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you getting all excited about? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17, see? My teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. And watch you with me. It's you. He's really cool. And it's really popular. I think I accidentally changed your voice. And they asked me at school kids what they wanted to be. Steel Samurai was number one. I really... All right, I really worry about kids these days. Ramps. Well, the Steel Samurai is over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. This is such a long... Oh, no, that other one's over. We're, we're into a new one. A month had passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices. How am I going to pay the rent this month? It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Ow, that hurts! Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! I'm saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Uh, you mean he got arrested in this show? Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life. Oh. He scared a villain with a samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. Okay. Okay. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the- Oh wait, now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. I was plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo-Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer. <laughs> Love that. Who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. The body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Ah, that hurts my ears. Meep. Yes, right in code law offices. What? Nick, it's the Steel Samurai. What? Oh my God. <sighs> yes, yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick! Oh, God. She's, she's just like an anime character. She's like, yes! Go? Go where? We have to steal Samurai down in detention. So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Uh, I'm going to examine our room. His favorite spot of plant. Nay has been wearing, watering it so much lately it looks a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her watering water torture technique. It's a nice day outside. The hotel across the way is always full these days. There's the bellboy happily cleaning the room. A poster of an old movie that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. And I realized that the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. Oh, that's not helpful. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scary still is the thought that I have to read all these now. Ugh. His desk, actually. It's my desk now. Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. Is that it? What did he? Well, what should we do? What should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to get down to the detention center and meet the steel samurai. Does she want to investigate the case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The money's on sightseeing. Look, look how she, she is. Any ideas? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No! We just don't have enough information! She's doing the anime puff out your cheeks thing. I present to you... I'm an attorney! What about this? Or what about this? You like showing that off, don't you, Nick? 
My poor, poor ego. <laughs> that was great. Um, we're moving to the detention center. Whoa! It looks like a tiger. What's wrong, Maya? It's him. In the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Power is our client. That's him. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. He definitely did it. Murder. At least once. Maybe twice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you saying? Um. Yes. Something wrong. No, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask. I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's a kid's, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dream. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. Uh, <laughs> I kind of love him. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Okay, flip flop. Uh, I'm gonna examine the room first. Is it the same thing every time? He seems frozen in awe of Will's power. <laughs> he doesn't move at all anyway. Uh, hey, I'm a lawyer. Um, here. Uh, I see. Let me guess. This guy wasn't the top student in improv class. Uh, talk. What happened? Maybe you can start by telling us what happened. Yeah, yeah, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 just that morning. Oh, he's getting framed. They had like an action sequence and they actually used real weapons or something, huh? There was a rehearsal scheduled for five in the afternoon. Then, wait, it was that's his voice. But then when five came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in crumpled heat near the set. They took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer. Dead. He had been expertly, ske expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, the steel samurai, uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me what the steel samurai is. Nick, how could you say such a thing? I'm so sorry, sir. My apologies for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. <laughs> hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kid's show. He walks the streets of Neo Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. Ah! I see. Neo Old Tokyo, who comes up with these names? The same people that name everyone in this world. Power's alibi. Oh, wait, now where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at nine. We worked through some action scenes until noon. The rehearsal was to begin at five, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after five. I was late for the rehearsal. Oh, excuse me. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. Some action hero. What would the kids see? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow! Oh, Nick, let's go! I'm willing to bet ten bucks she has for autographs. She just wants to go play in the set. Uh... Move to the 
the studio. Oh, so this is where they may steal Samurai Show. Awesome. Aren't you excited? What happened to the other people in the last thing? Like, what happened to May and White? Awesome. Aren't you excited? Ah! Her name is Old Bag. It's Old Bag, even. And there's no space. Hey, you there. You want in? You gotta go through me. Oh, sorry. We are la lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that g gawkers like you stay out. Uh, gawkers! Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. Uh, I think I need to change your voice up. I can't think of an old lady voice. I'm thinking of an old man voice. Ah, I know the type. You heard about the incident and came to Snoopo Round. Just today, something horrible. I didn't even get. Well, you know, I'm not doing that. This game, maybe I should have. It's like a life. I was young, things were made a different mind. You didn't make me clothes. What are the things coming these days? My son was calling. What the fuck happened? Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> hey. Wait, I already forgot. Old lady voice, hey. Listen, when you're being spoken to, use today. Okay, I want to look at stuff. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey, no touching. God, that's some devil shit. He's possessed. I did not like that. Did not like that. Security guard station. That security lady must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk in there. You can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Okay, what about this? An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Looks like a studio van. You probably use it to carry around film equipment. Okay. Uh. Hey, I'm a lawyer. What's that? You're giving that to me? Absolutely not. Uh, talk about the studio. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, it's my younger days. In fact, in my younger days. Oh, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Oh, wow. <laughs> this place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too, he was. Did he give you the hammer? Hammer. The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Uh, ask about the hammer. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He's simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should have learned of that. But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children, children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Well, can you tell me about Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the steel samurai was his, his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. You don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Interesting. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. 
So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. And Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. Was he in his costume? Because it could have been anyone. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. Maybe I'll just let you in. Oh God, we gotta go back. This lady thinks we're here. This lady here thinks she owns this place, obviously. Excuse me. Fuck. Um. Hey, I need a note. Hello. Oh wait, yeah, Will. Uh, hello. Well, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? N not all. Isn't that right, Nick? We talked to one person. Right, not at all. And where's your sub suspect? Ah, oh, I need a thing. Uh, the security lady. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady. She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yeah, yeah, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask. For her words, I believe. She sucks up. She sucks up all the big wigs at, big wigs at the studio. Let her see you stumble once and she'll never let, let up on you. Oh, she's got some nerve. Do you think you could write a, or do you think you could write a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. Powers request added to the court records. Document proving Will's powers request for an attorney. Hell yeah. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. Okay, but your alibi. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I never do that. I forgot to turn that off. I never do that. Earlier you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. The security lady says you she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business. I need every adv advantage I can get. I do. I I'm sorry. But I swear to you on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? She doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure someone was wearing his costume. Uh, I'm gonna present him his own thing. Thank you for the letter of request. Go back to the security lady to let you in. <laughs> uh, move to the studio. Hey, I got a thing. Let me in. And have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm. Yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. I was request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to use of such unreliable appearance? Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, toward the studios. No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal. No one allowed? No one allowed inside, pal. Where am I instructed? Were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Gumshoe? Hey, hey, Nick! Huh? There were maps at the security guard station. How did you get in there? Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece. Thank you. Oh, God, I hate... That is nightmare fuel. No time to go, Nick. 50 cents! I'd map to Global Studios. Okay. I ain't paying. Guess what? I have this. What's that? You're giving that to me? Absol <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> He's like, 50 cents. Nope. Uh, move. Here we go. Uh -huh. Look at that guy. He looks jolly. 
It's you. Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah, that confused detective. Hey, pal, you know that Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset. It's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Ooh, hit him right where it hurts. Oh, that was sad. Um, detective? I think he hurt his feelings. Oh no, I... I'm sorry. I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth is in my heart. The truth is in my heart. The truth is in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this taste. Case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. I think he's, he's a character, all right. <laughs> all right, there's a camera right here. Hey, there's a camera here. That's a security camera and takes photos of people going to the studio. All you have to do is look at the data and you can see who went there, where. There's a number plate on the camera. STI. 307. That must be the camera ID number. Okay. I'm a little bush. Maybe I should take a short, short rest here. Hey, good idea, pal. Detective, aren't you on the case? Well, yeah, but... Hey, us detectives get tired of standing around too, pal. The studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. That's a monkey? Oh, it's the head fell off. Okay. I thought it was two different things. What kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Ah, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. No. Thing's made of marble or something. They took the tree down with it too. Oh, there's something here. Detective Gumshoe. What's down the path to the left? It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh, that's the tree. I thought it was a bush. Ah, yeah. That way is kind of dangerous. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there anyway. That's where Studio 2 used to be, they tell me. They don't use it now, though. Interesting. Entrance to Studio 1. This is the studio where they found Jackhammer's bounty. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need a car key to get in. It makes sense that they would want to keep the non-employees out. There's a big welcome sign above the path. Yeah, apparently the studio's fallen on tough times. They've started letting people in on days they aren't filming. They make a bit of extra money by charging for admission. Huh. You sure know a lot about this place, detective. You know, you could always be being a detective and work here. Yeah, and what perfect timing with the studio mascot down for the count. Eh, just what's that supposed to mean, pal? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's talk to him. Uh, the investigation, how's it going? How's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can tell you that, pal. Why not? Maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Yeah, he kind of just lets information go, doesn't he? Right. So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Eh, all right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Autopsy report added to the court record. Time of death, 10.15 at 2.30. Cause pierced through the chest by a spear. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. Murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now the victim appeared in Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Wheel and Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Maybe she's lying. Nick, if that's true, anyone thinks that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. Security lady. About the security lady. 
Ah, oh, that sweet old lady. What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? The demon eye lady, bro? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Mm -hmm. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. Whoa. What? Yeah, I need to know that. What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh... Oh, no. Photo of the steel samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. Did you just happen to have that? What? Who took that? See the camera up there at that gate, pal? Gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by that camera on man, he snaps a photo of him. Oh, no. Nick, there's evidence. We're finished. Funny for someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Aha! Um, I'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Aha! I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, yeah, let's go. We've got free pass to this place. Now's our chance to check things out. Uh... I already showed him this, right? I'm a lawyer. Detective, see this? This is my attorney's badge. Uh-huh. Don't you think it's a little sad when you have to explain that your badge means, pal? <clears throat> Rude. We got a man for their PD badge, and that's that. I'll admit the design... Oh, wait. I admit the design of my badge leaves a lot to be desired. Maybe it should just be a big L for lawyer. Ha <laughs> ha, big L. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. All right. Later, Brado. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I'm detective. Any ideas about this? Okay, I don't go out in time to go every little trinket you got, okay, pal? Um, why can't I go... Why can't I go this way? on the path of life. It looks like a tree fell down over the path. Oh yeah, that's where the kind of danger is. You should stay out, pal. There's nothing down there anyway. Uh... And I need a key card, so... Well, this is the only place I can go. Nick, look! The security lady's in the guard station snuffing, snuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. <laughs> Hey, you! Well, aren't you satisfied? Are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? Yes. She had to make my life harder by giving that photo to Detec Detective Gumshoe. Okay, I don't believe you. Uh, Mr. Hammer. Is the victim Mr. Hammer a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio! Was? Past tense? Oh, yes! He was the greatest bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day, making a star like him play the evil magistrate. It's a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? This guard station is in a central position. No matter where you go from here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 11. The murder happened right around 2.30, you see. Only one I see go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one, what did it? If he's not the one, what did it? Is that supposed to be that? If he's not the one, what did it? I don't know who is. Maybe. It was you? Ah, good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. I need to see that photograph because I'm pretty sure it's going to be in costume or something. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, and that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh. Oh, just to the left from here at the gate with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see. 
What about the security camera? Oh, yes. The camera. It's automatic. You can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? And it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Okay. So none of that changed. What's going on, Nick? I said he was sleeping in his dressing room. Now there's a photo of him going to the studio. Don't look at me. How should I know? What do I do? What do you think? The photos the detective was talking about is the problem here. Well, that's hard to say without seeing the actual photos themselves. But if it is Powers in that photo, his alibi is shot. Only one person went to the scene of the crime before the murder took place. And there's a photograph to prove it. I guess it makes sense that the person is the killer then. What do we do, Nick? Maybe there was someone else who could have gone to the scene other than Powers. Let's take a look. Maybe that security lady missed something. One thing's for sure. If there are any clues, they'll be in that studio. Shit. Apparently, er, Apparently they have Mr. Powers in questioning. Hmm, uh, right. Fuck. Oh! Look, pal, that camera takes a picture automatically whenever someone walks by. It is a picture of Will Powers! Okay, I have to ask him about the photograph. I thought I already did that. Oh, well, let's try again later. Move. Move. Oh! I can go to the employee area now. Okay. Then I could uh, ask him a thing. Whoa. Oh, okay. I see what it was saying. That's why they made it a point to say that she's the central area. Nick, this is where they do all the behind the scenes stuff. Hey, look, this power is the dressing room. No one's here. No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Okay. Got a window. Window into the dressing room. Glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. There's a sign by the dressing room door. Will Powers. It must be neat to be the star and have your own room like this. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Oh. Hey, Nick. Let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir? What do you mean, find? You mean <laughs> I finger discount it? You never know. It might be something like the samurai spear. You don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. Okay. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh. It's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something. Popcorn at least. Wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this! Ladies first. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. How about I've hit the spot? You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. <laughs> what? I thought she was going to say a second stomach because she's a, a medium and needs to feed her spirit channeling. It must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick! You know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in the film studio? Oh, there's a slide. This is sussy. The grate they used to cover the drain. A little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back on. Someone busted in. That's why they didn't see anyone else coming in. It's like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? 
There's a half finished backdrop for stage for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. Metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet. Yeah, you stuck in that way you wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right. Oh, uh, hey! I'm not a kid. <laughs> Okay, nothing, oops. Can I go into the, yeah, dog. You got a shaved head over there. Our dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking off here, did they? All right, there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for his sake. Examine eight. He said, there's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yep, yeah, I have a separate stomach for sweets. She has three stomachs. <laughs> How many stomachs does this girl have? Mm, this must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Ooh, employee card key. Look. An employee card key. Wow, I just said that. That must be power. That must be powers. Is this Studio One? Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow? Hard key for the studio employees grants entry to Studio One. Nice. There's a vast array of cosmetics here. Oh, this is the way he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie. What? Nick, put this on. Absolutely not. No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? Like samurai movies. Kind of. <laughs> Oops. There's always, they always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky. That's how I like it. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of these costumes. I'd say you're already wearing one myself. <laughs> like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. It's locked. It's like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it's kind of a dusty outside. Okay. Anything else? I think we're good. Oh man, I have to go all over the place. You got anything new? Nope. <laughs> Don't show her the uh, the card key I found. Hey, buddy. Wait a minute. Can't I go inside? I don't know if I should show him this. Hey, detective! Take a look at this! Where's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yep. Don't show him that! He'll confiscate it! Aw, I just wanted to show it off. I knew that. <laughs> um... I don't want to show her it either. Are you telling me about this, ma'am? Oh, that! Isn't that a studio card key? You better watch it! The scene of a murder is no place for sightseeing! God, she's terrifying. I'll be taking that! Hand it over! Wait, no, that's mine! Look, I don't have a card key to the studio, see? I want to go pay my respects to Jack Hammond where he died! Sure you do. Well, you'll just have to wait. God, you're stuck. Oh, let's get out of here. Dressing room. Hmm. Oh, God, she's not. 
in creepy mode still. And nothing else. Move. What am I missing here? To. It's not letting me. Entrance to Studio One. This is the studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I want to discard. Oh, I had to activate it with the little. Investigate thing. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It open! Alright, we in! He's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. He doesn't care. You don't see anything. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. I'm gonna give you the shiver, Snake. That white tape. It's so... So real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the seal samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the spear. Samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Oops. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. Yeah, what the heck? I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it, or it wasn't killed here. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. Well, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. This girl is out there. Step, is she making a joke like step parent? Yeah, so don't touch it. What? Terry is I saw. Oh, shit! Hey, you, no touching that. Oh. Hey, you, no touching that. Who are you? You're a new person. Um, sorry, my partner's kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Oh, wait, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with hospitals and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're, <laughs> you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. I'm not done observinating. Hold on. Wow, look at that! Er. Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Steel Samurai Show. Of course! It's Mountain! Neo Fujiyama! Doesn't Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo Tokyo! Oh, right. <laughs> Chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap on the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real live megaphone. Ready, Nick? Oh god, she's she's doing a thing. Hold on. Hold on. Action! There you go. This girl is more troubled than I thought. Okay. What is this? Mirror? That's for reflecting light. They call it reflecting screen. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Uh, what? What's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? 
No, fighting is fine, but I want to be the director. Maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. Okay. Um, I think we're good here. Let's talk to her. After I say, I'm a lawyer. Um, any thoughts about this? Sorry. I don't really want to think too much about what just happened yet. Okay. Okay, so she probably doesn't care about any of that. Let's talk to her. Uh, Willpower. You know what, Mr. Well? Did you know that Mr. Willpowers was sleeping in his room? No. I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, this is private. What kind of girl do you think I am? What, what kind? No, no, no. I'm sure you're a fine girl. Uh, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation on Power's alibi. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on the staff that day, you see. Only one is Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. Yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. Ah, there's the security lady in the back. That's sussy. In the morning, we went through the action sequence in the employee area. BP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Oh, wait. The employee area, that's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to the studio and... Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. WP was the only... <laughs> She's calling WP now. WP was the only one who came to the studio. And he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! She, she had to take that sound. That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that. That day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was action scene run through. I was only an assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, someone had come in here. Wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I don't have any better information than that. It's that vent! No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Sensing someone. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think does it cut it as a witness testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? Someone else came into the studio. She must have seen them. Okay. Uh, I guess let's go all the way back there. She needs more professional attire if she's working. With this girl? She looks fine. Uh, this way. You got anything? Nope. This way. Gate. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. No, the one who's yelling at you. She's a spirit medium. I think her clothing is quite fitting. This is claim. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. I came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Be sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times. Here as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone else from the outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Ah! Fuck! I hate when she does that. Who told you that? Who dares question me? Yep. Alright. You better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Um, uh... Uh, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Don't out her, bro. Her. She's not even a full-time employee. 
Oh, you youngins are like that nowadays. Oh my god, she's reading real fast again. Knew a thing about respecting your back in the day. Shame on you, you used to I can't read that. Where are? Okay. He left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. I guess you did a good job. What the fuck is that? Okay, dude, it was only happening when I was moving. That was weird. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo on Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Try it. Okay, let's give it a try. What is that noise? What is that fucking noise? That's the weirdest thing. Dude, that old lady's scary, bro. She's unhelpful. She gotta go. Who? Who, the old lady? Nah, she's evil as fuck. Pretty sure she's possessed by something terrifying. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need... Oh, wait. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. Looks like... Oh, we're gonna need the security camera number, right? It looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One... That was when the security lady arrived at the car station. He's entered the number of the security camera. Uh, 307? There, entered. Hey, I printed out the data for that day. Let's see what... Oh, let's see what he's got. Huh? How's this picture of Will Powers? See, I was right. They were just going to be in their costume. Well, he's the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. Should the detective will be happy with this photo as evidence. Oh, something's printed on the back. Huh? Photo number two? What does that mean? What does that mean? Maybe there's more. Or maybe there's more photo data, data from that day? Nope. That's the only one in the computer. Someone deleted something. Ours is photo added to the court record. We use the photo as evidence for the trial. Yeah. How about that security lady in place with this? All right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Yeah. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I give you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? It was just a joke. What are we doing here for today? No. I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea where the real killer was. Maybe it really is the security lady. No, I wanted to see the other security cameras. She ratted out the other lady? Oh, yeah, yeah. She, she, she's young. She doesn't know not to give information up. Uh, save my progress. It's 10 o'clock exactly. I think that's perfect time. Back. No, shit. I did this last time. No. No. Options. Uh. Exit. Title screen. Ah. Uh -huh. We, it jumped us straight into the trial. We didn't get to observe anything else. That sucks. Maybe I, because I, we saw that, um, that vent, so someone probably could have got in. Maybe I have all the information. I wanted to know what was on the other security cameras. I, I forgot to snoop first. I forgot. Oh, taking this off. All right, my friends. This is where we're calling tonight. Calling it for the night. Uh, hopefully I'm going to go get some good sleep. Because work has been awful the last two weeks and nothing is working and I have to get up early, log into meetings to figure out what the hell is happening and then another meeting about what's coming in the future and oh, I'm not looking forward to it. Oh. 
anyway i'm not i'm not gonna get in on stream anyway my friends uh so i'm not gonna go for a raid tonight because i'm gonna just go relax and uh what am i forgetting oh we'll, we'll continue playing this tomorrow i don't know how much longer we have the online says it's about 60 hours to complete so i think i don't know if this is all like a continuation of the same story or if that was part two no because i don't know we'll find out i don't know um because it kind of just shebanged us into another thing it said the end and then we started a new one and it still referenced the old one i suppose that kind of makes sense they, they want some continuity to the story but i don't know if it was like a whole new block of story it's the second part of the trilogy no idea so that's kind of what it is um you're gonna go read some filth. You're gonna go read your smut. You're gonna feel better. Money. I'm happy for you. I'm, ha I'm happy that uh, you're, you're looking forward to that. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll continue playing this tomorrow. Uh, normal uh, day off on Thursday, and then Friday, I hope we'll be playing some more Baldur's Gate three. And then uh, I'm super stoked for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out the end of the month so that is what is coming down the pike uh we post updates in the discord and stuff about stream schedule and announcements if i'm not streaming and whatnot but it is what it is but thank you guys so much for being here thank you so much for be letting me be a streamer tonight. i heavily appreciate it remember to spay new to your pets adopt don't shop donate to rescue if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering it is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need anyways i'm basic Thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch you all next time. See ya. See ya. See ya, you wanna go bedtime? You wanna go bedtime? Yeah, you wanna go get some food? Let's go!